guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips on how to feel more confident and how to make your life a little bit more positive. I wasn't always this confident and I'm still not at 100%, but my confidence level has definitely shot up a lot since middle school. So I just wanted to help you guys out and give you some of my tips that I think will really make an impact in your life. So first of all, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the law of attraction. My mom was the one who told me about this and it has made a big impact in my life ever since she told me, which was like maybe two weeks ago, but I'm already feeling so much better. The definition of the law of attraction is the belief that positive thoughts are magnets for positive life experiences and negative thoughts are magnets for negative life experiences. So basically to summarize that in my own words, it's about putting positive energies out into the universe and then positive energies will come back to you. So if you're always dwelling on the negative things about your life or just always feeling sorry for yourself, negative energy is going to come back to you and spread through a lot of other parts of your life. I know it's easier said than done, but just by talking positively and encouraging others or encouraging yourself or having a positive mindset about something like, oh, I'm going to get an A on this test, I'm going to study really hard, rather than saying, oh, I'm just gonna take an L on this test, like I'm done studying, like that's not gonna get you anywhere, obviously, if you don't study. But I'm trying to say that if you go on with a positive mind, then positive things will come your way. The second thing is to surround yourself with supportive people and encourage other people and be that supportive friend for them as well. If your friends are always putting you down or making you feel stupid or making fun of a hobby that you really like, those aren't the friends for you. You. you need someone that will support you and encourage what you love to do. For example, obviously I do YouTube and you know, thinking about it, yes, it is kind of weird to talk to a camera, but it's a really cool hobby that I love to do. I love editing, I love filming, and I surround myself with people that also think it's really cool or watch my vlogs and support me. And that in itself makes a huge difference in my life because I feel more confident to vlog around them or just talk about my videos or not hide that. You shouldn't have to hide anything that you love. The third thing is to get into planning. So I use Google calendars and I will literally plan what time I'm waking up, what time I'm going to the gym, what time I'm going to meal plan. And honestly, it makes me feel so much more put together. And in the end, it makes me feel more confident because I know what I did that day. I can cross things off on my to-do list and it makes me feel like I'm actually being productive rather than just sitting in bed all day being lazy that's gonna make me feel kind of shitty so I definitely recommend planning your day out and making to-do lists as well the next one kind of goes along with planning and it is to get places a little bit early even if it's five minutes early or ten minutes early it's gonna make you feel more confident because you're a little bit more prepared rather than rushing to class or rushing to a meeting, you'll have a few minutes to just calm down and think about what you're gonna do in the next few minutes. I always try to get to my classes 10 to five minutes earlier because I need that time to mentally prepare to take notes or take a quiz or take a test. And even for a meeting, you can take that time to calm your nerves if it's a big meeting or prepare your notes if you have to present something. The next one is to do a power pose whenever you're not feeling confident. A power pose is when you stand up and your legs are shoulder width apart and you put your hands on your hips like a superhero and look up to the sky. I remember when my mom first told me about this, I'm pretty sure she saw this on Facebook and she shared the link with me and was just talking about it and she was like, you should really do this. And I thought it was so weird, but honestly I do it every now and then and it helps so much. You just take a little bit of a breather and it gets you ready to go. So you can either do what I call the Superman pose, which is this one, or you can look up to the sky and raise your hands up to the sky. So, I mean, the Superman pose is kind of a little more subtle, so I choose that one, um, but you know, whatever floats your boat. The next tip I have for you guys is to pick your head up and get off your phone when you're walking places and enjoy the scenery around you. Of course, when I get the occasional text, I'm gonna text them back. Sometimes we tend to refresh Instagram or Twitter because we feel uncomfortable walking alone. It honestly makes me feel more confident to pick my head up and just enjoy everything around me, you know? Take a little time for yourself. Honestly, think about anything, something creative, something serious. Maybe if you wanna take that time to pray, that would be a good time. I did this a lot freshman year when I was on my phone all the time walking places because I just felt so uncomfortable and I didn't really know a lot of people. But now that I am a sophomore and I'm getting to know a lot more people, 
I love seeing familiar faces on campus, so I always try to look out for my friends and say hi. And honestly, it is kind of uncomfortable, but it really makes a big difference in my day when I'm just interacting with people on campus or just acknowledging nature. That sounds so weird, but just trust me, try getting off your phone whenever you're walking somewhere and you'll just feel happier. Next one is to give out compliments. And I personally love this one because I love making conversation with people and I feel like a compliment is such a good conversation starter, but it's really important to actually mean the compliment. Like if you are gonna say you like my shirt, you know, actually love it and maybe be like, oh, where'd you get it? You know, start a conversation, but don't just be like, oh, I like your shirt just cause I'm telling you to give people compliments. I promise a compliment will make someone's day and maybe make the compliment a little bit deeper. For example, if someone's working out and you've seen a difference, you know, compliment her on that. It's gonna make her day more than you think. Or even tell them what you admire about them. And this doesn't have to be like super creepy. You can say it super casually, you know, like, oh my God, I've been admiring how hard you've been working at your position. It's so easy to give people compliments. And I honestly feel like compliments are somewhat of a chain reaction. Because if I get a compliment, I'm more inclined to give someone else a compliment. And then maybe they'll feel the same way. The next Next one is to try to get healthier and I personally cannot rule out sweets and that's not what I'm trying to say. In my case, I have meal plans so I can choose between a salad and the main entree and now I'm trying to eat more vegetables and just cut down the portion size of the actual entree and it just makes me feel a lot better. I think the biggest thing is to stop eating when you feel full. It doesn't matter how much you spent on the meal, it doesn't matter how much is left on your plate, you can always take it home. But I think the worst feeling in the world is being so full that you can't even move. And feeling like you can't move makes you lazy and then just makes you feel not confident. The next one kind of goes with the last one and it's just getting healthier in all aspects of life, whether it's taking your vitamins or exercising and I I know that's hard because you may not have the time or you may not have the motivation. If you told me to go work out three months ago, I would have laughed in your face and been like, haha, I'm just gonna sit here eating my mini Kit Kats. I mean, I still eat those mini Kit Kats. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I have started the Kayla It Seems workout program and having this workout program telling me exactly what to do and how many reps I should do it for and how long it should it take. It kind of makes me feel forced to do it. I've been doing it for seven weeks now that it's just become a habit that I have to go to the gym every morning or, you know, afternoon if I can't fit it in the morning. I think going to the gym in the morning is a lot more beneficial because it just wakes you up, kind of gets you ready for the day, and you don't go through the whole day dreading, oh dang, I have to go to the gym later, or I can put on makeup because I have to go to the gym later. I'm definitely not telling you guys to go to the gym right now and do, you know, 30 minutes on the treadmill, but I really encourage you guys to get outside and just Maybe take a walk every now and then. Or if you're gonna be watching YouTube videos like this, maybe go outside and walk and watch the videos. Or what I like to do is to go on the treadmill and watch my videos. So that way I'm kind of rewarding myself as I go. The last one is to keep your room clean. This makes such a big difference in my day-to-day -day routine because I love coming back into my room and seeing that it's clean, it honestly makes me feel so much more motivated than seeing a bunch of piles of clothes on the floor, of laundry that I have to put away, or just my bed unmade. I hate seeing my bed unmade. When my room is clean, I feel like I can edit my videos or do my homework, but when it's not clean, I feel like that's the first priority for me, to clean my room and then I can focus on my homework. But it's good in a weird way because I'm forced to clean my room every day. So those are all my tips on how to feel more confident and to be more positive. I would love for you guys to leave me any feedback that you have on this video and I hope you guys will take some of my advice and really apply it to your life and if you do then let me know how it works out for you. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Feels like